We're continuing to learn more about the seizure of a British tanker by Iran in the Strait of Hormuz. As a recording from the British maritime security firm Dryad Global shows the moment the Stena Impera was ordered into Iranian waters. You obey, you will be safe. If you obey, you, be, you will be safe. Alter your course to uh, 360 degrees immediately. Over. As you are conducting transit passage in a recognized international strait, under international law, your passage must not be impaired, impeded, obstructed or hampered. In that recording, you could also hear a British warship instructing the Stena Impero that it cannot be stopped. But in the wake of the seizure, tensions continue to escalate, with Iran insisting that the vessel had violated international maritime law. Matthew Chance is in Abu Dhabi with more. Well, this certainly looks like Iranian retribution for the seizure by the British authorities earlier this month of an Iranian oil tanker off the coast of Gibraltar. Officials say it was suspected of delivering oil to Syria in violation of European Union sanctions. Iranian state media has broadcast these dramatic images of the British flagged vessel, the Stena Impero, being surrounded by fast military patrol boats, then boarded by balaclava-wearing Iranian forces descending by rope from that helicopter hovering above the deck. Iran says the vessel violated maritime law by entering the Straits of Hormuz, a busy shipping lane in the Persian Gulf, in the incorrect direction. The British Foreign Minister says there could be serious consequences if the situation isn't resolved quickly, but added that London is not looking at military options and wanted to find a diplomatic solution. That may well be what the Iranians had been aiming for, grabbing a bargaining chip in the form of a British tanker to swap for the one that Britain has seized.